What? You mean you can follow trends without buying anything new? Mm-hmm. Yep. Hi guys, it's Gloria here. Welcome to my channel. Spring is coming in two months for me, but for some of you, it's been there for a while. So I think it's a good time to finally make a spring summer outfit video. When it comes to the new season, there are always some kind of trends happening. Now, I don't personally care about trends, but it could be fun to play with it sometimes. And instead of rushing out to buy a whole bunch of new things, I think a more sustainable and economical way is to look at what you already have in your closet and see if you can make your old clothes new again. In this video, I will use this Vogue UK article, the 12 Spring Summer 2020 Trends, as my trend reference. And I'm only going to use what I already have in my closet. Now let's see how we can wear these trends, or if they're wearable at all. Uh, first trend is neon signs. No! God, please, no! 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 <laughs> I'm sorry, but neon signs are for highlighters. I have a green one, a blue one, a pink one, and an orange one. I don't have a yellow one, but I think I'm quite spot on. All right, next. The next trend is short suit story. Basically, you just wear a suit blazer with shorts instead of pants. I think I can do that. For this look, I'm starting with a white linen shirt and a pair of white linen shorts because the whole point is to wear shorts, right? I also put on my white and beige shoes. Now it's time to wear my camel blazer. I've never worn a blazer with shorts before. Well, this is fun. To finish the look, I'll also add a boulder just because I want to. And this is my short suit story look. Nailed it. Alright, the next one is blank slate. Well, basically, if you have a white dress, wear it. Do I have a white dress? I have a white dress. For this look, I put on my white dress. Duh, it's pretty self-explanatory. I'll pair this with my white sling bags. Since it's pretty bland on its own, I'll also add a pair of bold gold hoops and a gold necklace. And I'll wear the sunglasses on my head like the cool girls do. Here you go. If you have a white dress, congratulations, you are on trend. Next up is women in waistcoats. Ooh, I really like this trend. One of my biggest hobbies in life is stealing men's style. Okay, I cheated for this one because why would I randomly have a waistcoat in my closet? But this is literally the only new thing I bought for this video. I'm pairing it with my white white leg pants and a pair of white sandals to add a bit more femininity. I'll also tie my hair back to clean up the look. And finally, I'm putting on my bolt gold hoops again and a watch. I feel like this is going to be my new favorite look from now on. Alright, the next trend is cut out and keep. Basically, it means anything that has an unusual cut, like at your waist, for example. This is not my favorite trend, but I think I do have something that could make it work. Okay, I'm wearing this dress in pastel colors and it's also cut out at the collarbone and at the waist. It has been sitting in my closet for years. I'm pairing it with my white sling bags. I also tie my hair up and wear my boulder. This dress is not my usual style, judging from how uncomfortable I look in it. Next up is entrenched. 
that's a clever way to say just wear your old trench coat. For this look, I'm starting with a beige polo shirt and a pair of white white leg pants. I wear my white sandals as well. Now I'm putting on this good old trench coat that I've had for seven years, and I'll add my white boulder to finish the look. A good trench coat is always in style, like every spring and every fall. I bet you it's gonna be on trend again this fall. Next trend is blue crush. So basically wear jeans. I have no problem with that. For this look, I'm wearing my white knit tank top and my blue jeans, of course. I'm rolling up the jeans to look a bit more stylish. I'll put on my white sandals and I'm also adding a white blazer on top. Finally, I'll add a pair of bold goat hoops. I'm quite happy with this if you ask me. This is a perfect look for running into your crushes or exes. Alright, the next one is Tropical Night. This is going to be a tough one for me judging from my relatively neutral wardrobe. But I do have this one and only green shirt that could make it work. Okay, I'm just going to wear this green floral shirt, which is supposed to be tropical, and the same white white leg pants because apparently I have no other pants and I've used these pants for the third time in this video. I'll wear my white sandals again. For accessories, I'm putting on a straw boulder and my cat eye sunglasses just to pretend I'm on vacation. I know, sad. Next up is what lies beneath. Oh, so you can wear your pajamas or lingerie outside now. Of course I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to wear my silk slip dress that kind of looks like lingerie, but I assure you, it's not. And I'll pair it with my black strappy sandals. For accessories, I'm wearing a short pearl necklace and a pair of gold button earrings. Now I look like I'm either going out or going to bed. I choose to go to bed, please and thank you. Alright, so next trend is get shirty. So basically just wear your button down shirt like what I'm already doing. Sure. I'm starting with a sleeveless turtleneck underneath and a pair of white suit pants. I'll put on my black oxfords as well. For this look, I'll use my blue striped button down shirt. I'm leaving the top buttons open so that I don't look like I'm gonna choke. Now I'll tie my hair up and wear my black shades. What's up, bro? The next trend is craft fair. I don't understand. What do you mean raffia dress? I think the fashion world just ran out of ideas and they're like, let's put them in bag materials and they'll buy it. How about new? Next. All right, the last trend is 70s rerun. I love retro trends because it could inspire more people to buy vintage. It's good because it's cheaper, it's saving the planet, and you're on trend if that's what you're looking for. I don't see why not. For this look, I'm starting with a white shirt and a pair of red white leg pants. I'm wearing my white sling bags too. Now I'll put on my red blazer. I bought this blazer secondhand and changed the buttons from black to gold. Oh, and since the 70s is all about the color, I'll leave the color of my white shirt out to emulate that vibe. I'll also wear a large silk scarf on my head and my oval sunglasses. 
I feel like I'm going to a disco right now. And those are my takes on the 2020 spring summer trend. I have fun playing with it. I hope it gives you some inspiration to play with your own wardrobe too. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys again next week.